Welcome back to the Black History STEM series. Today's video is special for me because I believe his work and experience paved a way for me into civil engineering. And ironically, his story is similar to mine's. So let's get started. Archibald Alfonso Alexander, born May 14, 1888, in Atumwa, Iowa. Alexander enrolled into the State University of Iowa, known today as the University of Iowa, where he studied towards his degree in civil engineering while being a six foot two defensive tackle for the football team. When he arrived on campus, an advisor told him, quote, a Negro could not hope to succeed as an engineer. The Dean of Engineering was also quoted to say that he had never heard of a Negro engineer but they would ultimately eat those words after Archie graduated with a civil engineering degree, becoming the University of Iowa's first black engineering graduate and black football player. He went on to become one of the most prominent bridge and construction engineers of the early 1900s. However, the advisor and Dean of Engineering didn't immediately eat those words as finding employment opportunities proved difficult for Alexander. He settled for a laborman position in 1912 before leaving to start his own firm two years later. Over the course of his 40-year career, he would partner with two white engineers and build infrastructure that still exists to this day. Archie's first major project he landed was the construction of the sewage treatment facility in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Later, he would win the contract to design the Tidal Basin Bridge in Washington, D.C. and the Whitehurst Freeway in Washington, D.C. But arguably, the most famous project Archie is responsible for constructing is Moton Airfield in Tuskegee, Alabama, home to which the story of the legendary Tuskegee Airmen exists. Moton Airfield now serves as a museum of historic items from those legendary days. I haven't had the opportunity to visit the museum, but I feel Alexander should have some sort of memorial there for the significant role he played in construction that led to the story of the first black pilots preparing for World War II at that facility. Archie also played a significant role in politics where it led to him being appointed as governor of the Virgin Islands on April 9th, 1954. Although his time in office did not go like he hoped, it does not overshadow the accomplishments he achieved during his life. Archie's legacy will go down as an accomplished civil engineer, prevented from bidding on construction contracts because he was black who fought a racist contract, preventing him from purchasing a home, winning in court, only to find a burning cross on his property days after the home was purchased. Personally, he paved the way for me to follow through his footsteps in my journey, and he opened the door for me to be recognized as one of the top up and coming civil engineers in the world for 2021. Thank you for watching and until next time.